Welcome to Ben Archer TV channel. Today we are taking you to the Domeke Tassi Road project. My name is Ben Archer and today I'm just here to do business. And this is a Brie, the Brie Koforidua stretch, a Brie Kopon stretch, as you can see live in your shots. And we are driving from a Brie through Kitasi. So this is the Kitasi community and the contractors are yet to um, <laughs> evict these store owners. But right from the entrance of Kitasi to the Bree Highway, they have started widening the road network. And a lot of criticism there, a the lot of people have laid against the contractors is that uh, they are not working. But the truth is that they are working. Uh, from the Kwabinya stretch to uh, the Brekusu stretch, they have, it's very dormant. You don't see any activities going on. But for, when you move from Ketasi Agreement, you can see the contractors are sight and they are working. And one thing we realized today is that the widened road network and construction of drains or the drainage system at uh, Kitase is much commendable. So you can see the excavators aside doing their usual businesses. It's the Ben Archer TV channel. My name is Ben Archer once again, and I'm here to do justice to the Dominic Kitase project. Sorry, it's a long time. We gave you update on this, and sorry for the earlier video we posted. Yeah, we are sorry about that. The sound couldn't come, and uh, we had to um we actually edit those videos well to get a sound back so that we can upload it back on the channel for we to save the bet uh, our audience well and uh this is a live shot from Dome Kitasi Road Project and here is Ajimenti and at Ajimenti you can also see that the contractors are also failing low level grounds and they are widening the road network uh, between Kitasi and Ajimenti. Uh, the widened road network is very well commendable and it is what it is. Most a drainage system or drainage uh, construction is ongoing as well as widening of road networks right from uh, uh, Jumenti to Kitase and the contractors are busily working. So the work is progressing steadily. But for those of you at uh, Brikuso, Comet and uh, surrounding communities to Kwabinya, Bank of Ghana Junction, you realize that the contractors are virtually dormant. You don't find every ma machine on site, excavators are not on site and the road stretch is riddled with super dust it's dust everywhere but one thing we realize here from this stretch is that the contractors have watered the grounds especially from uh Ajimenti through kitase uh to the junction where it links up with every the contractors have leveled the ground and uh business is ongoing and you don't find that kind of dusty environment that we we experience when we get to uh exactly at um uh Brekusu and comet and the surrounding areas you don't find those things there as well so it's a ben Archer tv we are giving you this live update on the domic kitase road project so these are live shots uh at uh um Ajimenti heading towards kitase and you can see business is ongoing but it is undoubted and undisputed that this road project has been very sluggish no two means about that very very extremely sluggish and the speed the supersonic speed that the project started with is not what we are witnessing right away these are live shot at a yim a yim and for those of you who heard the news that the supreme court of ghana had given out a ruling that over seventy thousand acres of land belonging to uh, a certain group of chiefs and a yim was part of the towns that was mentioned a yim agimenti uh, pedriase or yarifa and the surrounding communities all of them were part of that list because was no part so please because was no part so it is what it says we are currently at a yim and here too you don't see the contractors aside and nobody's aside all what you see is a dusty stretch of road but I must say that if you look at the, the, the energy, the kind of uh, the speed and urgency that the contractor started with, if they had uh, continued with that same speed and urgency, the road projector would have gone very fast to a very appreciable um, level. And you can see the dusty nature here at a yim. And this is what we have been talking about 
this does pose a lot of health risks to people no wonder most bloggers are not coming here to report only the ben Acha tv is always coming here to report <laughs> we have made a lot of annoyance about this project and undoubtedly we are the only channel that gives more updates on this because a lot of people will not travel and come and pass through this dust and it puts a lot of health risks uh, for some of us it's not easy for us but we need to save mother ghana for god and for country so these are live shots coming from aim and the contractors are filling the low level point or portions so that at the end of the day uh we'll have a very smooth ride on the stretch this project is being affected by Fair Sky Construction Group Limited, and they assured us when the president, His Excellency Nana Adodam Kwekufadu, was cutting the sword that within exactly 24 months they'll complete this project. But we are yet to see whether that date is a fiasco or is a reality. So that is about that. Please subscribe to our channel and become part of this amazing family. It is what it is. Live updates on the Dominic Asiwe project. Continue to enjoy the rest of our footage is live from AYIM and always join us for more updates i'll catch you the same time on this platform on the next update on the rehabilitation and expansion of the fancor barrier to in someone road project that update will be dropping soon on this channel thank you my name is archer and certainly i'm out